Across the United States today, electors have been casting their votes at the Electoral College tally of Joe Biden's victory in the presidential election. Jessica Smith has more for us on what's coming up next. Yeah, Adam, we are getting ready to hear from President-elect Biden later this evening, and we did just get um, some of what he is going to say, some of his planned comments for this evening. He does say delivering immediate economic help so badly needed by so many Americans who are hurting today and then building our economy back better than ever. So again, encouraging Congress to act and get relief to Americans. And right now, as we speak, there is a bipartisan group of lawmakers who are unveiling two pieces of legislation. This is that group that was trying to get that $908 billion compromise proposal together. It's actually split up into two different proposals now. One is a $748 billion package that includes the less controversial measures. So we have jobless benefits, we have um, small business aid, money for vaccines, student loan forbearance, those types of measures. Then we also have another one that has liability protections and $160 billion in state and local aid. I did speak with Senator Angus King of Maine. He's an independent. He said that they just couldn't get there to compromise on those two really big sticking points that have really plagued negotiators over the past few months. I did ask him if not having state and local aid in a compromise measure is going to be a red line for Democrats. Here's what he had to say. It's certainly something everyone wants. I certainly want. It's been one of my strongest areas, but I'm not going to vote against a plan that will send three quarters of, of a trillion dollars to the American people at a time when they really need it because it doesn't have something that I also want. So I hope that's the response. I think, uh, uh, I, I think we, we have to move forward and do the best we can. Now, this compromise proposal does not have another round of stimulus checks in it. I did ask Senator King about that, and he said that they had a cap with how much money they were going to spend on this and stimulus checks just did not fit. He said this was a triage that they were trying to get money to businesses who were failing, people who were unemployed and they didn't have room for stimulus checks. Now this does go on to congressional leaders and they'll decide what to do with it. He did tell me that there's a possibility the leadership could decide to add in another round of stimulus checks, but as it stands right now, the package does not have them. Adam. Hey, Jess, just real quick here. If Common Ground isn't reached this week, are we likely looking at next year then for a deal? Well, if they are able to agree on this $748 billion package, that would be something that they could get done this week or at least before January, potentially. We have to see what the leadership says about this proposal, what they want to do with it. Um, but then, yes, lawmakers are saying that most likely, no matter what, they're going to have to do more next year.